Welcome to the Swamp, home of the Florida Gators, and we've long been told it is here that only the Gators get out alive. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game, as we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Georgia Southern Eagles, taking on a team from the SEC, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Georgia Southern will kick it off to get things started. Here he comes from inside his own five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Gators offense will start this game off. And here he comes, the guy who pulls all the strings in this attack. I think what makes him so unique, he has such a good understanding of this offense, always seems to know what the answer is to the test. Always in control. The receivers know they're going to get the football. Everybody believes in this dude. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The handoff to Johnson. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. And to keep this opening drive going, they'll need to convert third and one. They'll put the tight end in motion. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. It's incomplete, but here comes the flag, and I think it's going to be a first down. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. They'll leave it with the lone back. A run up the middle is stopped for no gain. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Getting some heat. He's got his man. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. The Gators will line it up on first and 10. Here's the handoff. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He'll do it himself. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Pressure coming. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. The Gators decide to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And the return man will have no chance as the ball sails out of bounds. The Eagles' offense will go to work for the first time. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. 
They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. And frankly, if that's a completion, it's not going to make the end of season highlight reel. But in this game, it could lead to a highlight reel type play. The offensive coordinator may be setting something big up for later in the game. Georgia Southern in a hurry. Give to the back. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. He's past the 30. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Off the play fake on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Gonna run it. It's white. Just a one-yard gain leaves him with third and nine. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Williams will pass. Throws for the tight end. Working the middle. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. And I really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field. Between the linebackers and the safeties, there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success, and really nice job by this offense taking advantage of those areas. Wants to throw on first down. Got his man on the right. They get him down after he makes the catch. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here. But it was still a positive game. Georgia Southern in a hurry. to throw on second down he finds his man didn't pick up a lot there moved it forward just a few it's been a defensive battle through the first period and the stats tell that tale on that we can hope to see a little more offensive explosion here in the second quarter as we get ready to get things started he'll just keep slinging it catch in the middle it's caught and the defense makes the immediate tackle but he has enough for the first down really nice job there by the quarterback understanding that it's zone coverage on third down you're gonna have to find someone working into a soft spot get the ball out of your hands quickly make an accurate throw and pick up the first well done Georgia Southern about to snap it on another first and ten. Running the red zone. It's white. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. The 
defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Going to work on second down in the red zone and still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Georgia Southern will have it now first and goal. Fast motion from the offense. Touch pass on the run. Fighting for the end zone, and he dropped it. Oh, and it's a hit like that that will absolutely light up the sideline, light up the stadium, change the momentum, and help you win a football game because that hit is what caused that fumble. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and gone. They'll line up for a second down play. They're going to test the right side with this one. Runs through the tackle. And that first defender was just waving at him after that sweet move. He picked up the first down. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run beat coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point. But finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on a defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Trying to move them on the counter. Still running at the 40. What a nifty one there to pick up the first down. This guy's got a lot of tools in his toolbox tote in the rock, man. He showed you right there. And when I think back to Florida running backs, Emmett Smith, all-time great. But a guy I played with in Gainesville, Fred Taylor. He was so big, but so fast for a guy his size. He just caused so many problems for the defenses we face. And I think in the SEC today, you have got to be able to run the football if you're going to win games. And this guy right here, he's going to give the Gators a chance. Running backs square their shoulders up. It's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They go to the ground. They knock him down right there. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend-don't-break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw, catch and run on that one. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. And the Gators are threatening on first and goal. Trying to punch it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Gator! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution in the drive by that offense.
Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. So it's an 80-yard drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there getting set. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. The short hands, it's Cobb. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Well, they execute the in route, and how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. Georgia Southern in a hurry. Going up top on first down. Makes the grab. Running toward the tape. He just brought some serious energy making that huge play and getting it all the way down to the 23-yard line. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. Now let's see if they can follow up that huge play. First and 10 from the 23. Williams looking for a man. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. He wants to throw it again. Got it in the middle. It's Cobb. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. They'll run it on first and goal. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle trying to power to the goal line. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Third and goal from way back there. From the gun, wants to pass. Going for six. And that one is picked up in the end zone. Well, I love the job by the coaching staff there defensively, matching the personnel of the offense, putting their dime package out on the field. So you bring out the extra defensive back, you're anticipating a pass, perfect timing to run that personnel, and you get the pin. The Gators sending the offense back to work. They've got time, they've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. They'll throw it on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Badger. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. What a scene there in Gainesville. What a fine college football game we've got. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. 
those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to our men in the swamp. The Gators will kick it away first and will start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Palmer, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to get the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Setting up the screen. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Right, and he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. Williams will pass. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. And another mistake from this quarterback. That's back-to-back -back drives now that have resulted in interceptions. He's got to find a way to find something different, get in a better rhythm, start seeing the field better, Palmer, because he's not in a flow right now. No, David, it looks like he's forcing the football a little bit, maybe trying to make up for that interception he threw on the last drive. But that last play, there was no way that football should have gone there. He could have gotten off of that, checked it down, or thrown it away. This quarterback, he needs a breather right now. He's got to collect himself. The Gators trying to cash it in on first and goal. Powers forward. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Florida! Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point makes it 14-0. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. Georgia Southern in a hurry. Williams looking for a man. 
And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Working the middle, it's complete. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. I mean, this offense basically lined up and said, I, I don't care if you double-team him, triple-team him, it really doesn't matter. We're still going to feature him. And guess what happens? They still get the first down even though he was double teamed. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Quarterback just flat missed it, incomplete. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, you live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. That time, the defense called it at the perfect time. The linebacker able to make the stop on a short game. And from the offense's perspective, that's probably uh, making a little something out of nothing. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. He's looking to pass. Got it set up on the outside. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. You gotta love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch, gave up the completion, whoop de doo You set up fourth and long, you're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Running it back, it's Hawkins. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Florida has the ball back and here comes the offense. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Dropping back, it's Mertz. Safe completion on the screen. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. Now, how about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? And the Gators will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the move, it's Arnold. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. After the misfire now on second down. Holds and fires complete to the right. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, 
it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Looking to throw for it. Caught over the middle. It's Cobb to the 43 yard line and a first down for this offense. And that is why it's important to have success early in the drive, because you set up third and short. You can throw a slant in your sleep. That's going to get caught. You're going to move the sticks, and that's what the offense was able to do. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Here's a quick throw out to the left. And brought down, looks as if that's how we'll end the third. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Florida on top. They've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. So after the first down run, here's second down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Cobb. Tackle is made at the 44 after the five-yard gain and the first down. Oh, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. The Eagles are moving quickly down the field. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. How about the job by this defense today? They, they knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense, stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Quarterback on the keeper. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Gives it to the back on the draw. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. And they just kind of sneaked that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. They'll ride the hot hand. Knocked down after a three-yard gain to the 25. you got to give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. Don't tell that to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. From the gun, the ground game. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. And the Eagles want to crank the tempo. They'll run it from the gun. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. With the catch, it's White. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. You know, this linebacker is a special player because not only is he good making tackles in the open field, this guy can cover. And you saw a great example of it with that running back. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. It's a draw. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. 
The defense is going to need one more stop. This is the game right now. You just got one on that last run play, setting up fourth down. Do you bring pressure? What are we doing defensively here to make sure that we can get off the field and win this game? Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He caught it! Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. Well, I think the defense was even caught off guard on that one, guys. Not seeing the field goal unit trot out onto the field. They had a golden opportunity there to make a stop and get the ball back without surrendering any points. They couldn't do it, though, and now all of a sudden their backs are against the wall. Williams will pass. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles! They got the score they needed, but this isn't over. No, don't call it a comeback yet. The first part, step one accomplished, but this offense obviously still has work to do, but the defense has to go out and get a stop and get him the ball back. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Gators sending the offense back to work. He wants to start this drive with a pass. He's got an open man. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. I'll be honest, man. If I had the weapons these guys had offensively, I'd be staying aggressive, too. It's what got them to this point. It's why they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Take some shots when those opportunities present themselves. You open a drive like that and you've got some operating room. It's first down from the 38. Looking to move it through the air. He uncorks one deep. It's complete. A huge pickup. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. you got to believe they just want to run it, take care of the football, and keep that clock moving on second and nine. They'll go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. This third down play might be the last chance for this defense to stay in the game. Hand off to the lone back. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. He boomed it through a 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. 
They're going to open this drive with a pass. That's caught. It's Burgess. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Williams looking for a man. He's right on target. Dragged down at the 30 after a five-yard gain. And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. I think the quarterback's got to do a better job with his eyes, guys. He's already been picked off twice in this game, and that one got swatted away. He's telegraphing where he's throwing the football, and it's making life really hard on him. Bunch formation trying to spring a guy free. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Complete downfield. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, this offense has a ton of work left ahead of him here in this two-minute situation late in the game. But the drive off to a good start. You get the first down, you get out of bounds, you're working the perimeter of the field. That is exactly what you want to do. Looking to go up top on first down. Using the quick game. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. And they'll spike the ball to try to save as much time as they can. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Williams will pass. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. They're trying to get to him. And they get to him and sack the quarterback, and they'll stop the drive on downs. And that just about does it. That about puts this thing to bed. The offense, listen, they had to. They had to go for it. But now defense, this is the situation where you say, I'm just going to eat clock up by several possessions. Eat clock, get out of here with a W. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. And now when you have a solid lead like this, Jesse, you find out, can you deliver the knockout punch? And we're expecting them to come out here and just run the football, bleed the clock, let the big uglies up front, get some push, and ball security, David. That's a premium. Yes, take care of the football. Don't make any dumb mistakes. Be physical. And listen, if they want to load the box, don't be afraid to take a shot.